हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इन ट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू how to update or modify the group tag in bulk using powershell and a csv file but before we begin if you are not aware of what group tags are in windows autopilot you can refer to my windows autopilot series video to understand their roles in windows autopilot and their use and i will also add the link in the description section so in short a group tag is an attribute added to a device during windows autopilot registration we can include it when running a powershell script to generate the hardware hash for self uploading alternatively we can provide our hardware vendor or csp partner with our group tags names and they can upload this attribute during device registration in the windows autopilot deployment service and we can use these group tags to create a dynamic group for managing the autopilot deployments now let's see how we can upload or modify the group tag in bulk using powershell and csv file but before that let me show you the current group tag status in the intune portal so before we begin if you are new to my channel or yet not subscribe my channel please consider subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so that you won't miss any of my videos so right now i am on my intune portal and under the devices we have to go to the windows by platform and then we have to select the windows enrollment and within enrollments we have to select the devices and we can see that under the windows autopilot devices i have 6 to 7 devices and the group tag is also assigned now i am going to show you how we can change these group tags using the powershell so to do this we have to download the powershell script and the csv file i have already downloaded it from the github location and i will provide the github location in the description section let me first show you what is there in the csv file and what we all have to update so to do this i am going to open the csv file so in the csv file we have to provide the serial number and the corresponding new group tag as you can see that i have already provided the serial number in the csv file and the new group tag is also updated in the csv file we can also see that i have added some of the fake serial numbers so that when we are running the script and the serial number is not available in the intune portal it's not going to do anything now after updating the csv file we have to run the powershell script so let me open the powershell script so to open the powershell script so i am going to click on script and edit it and in this script we have to update only one thing which is the csv file location so now i am going to update the csv file location for me it's there in the download folder right click copy as path and then update in the csv file path that's all you have to update in the powershell script and now before running the script we have to make sure that microsoft graph module is already installed on the device so to do this i am going to manually install the graph module and then i am going to run the script so to install the microsoft graph module i am going to open the powershell as an administrator and paste the install command and then run the script and now we can see that the microsoft graph intune module is installed successfully and now we can run the powershell script safely so i am going to execute the entire script 
now we can see that it's checking whether the Microsoft Graph Intune module installed or not and it's able to find that Microsoft Graph module is already installed and it's then it's imported the Microsoft Graph module and it's asking me to provide the username and password to perform the action so I'm going to provide the username and password and password and click on sign in now we can see that the script executed successfully and we can see that the in my csv file we have nine devices and it's checking whether the device is present in the intune portal and if yes it's trying to update the group tag like we can see that the for first serial number group tag sales is updated successfully for second marketing updated successfully and third one is a fake serial number that's why it's it's not able to update it for the fourth group tag accounting updated successfully for fifth it's hr six six it's an internal testing and then seventh is again it and then eighth and ninth because of this is a fake serial number that's why it's not able to find in the intune portal and skipping the update updation part we can also see that the final script execution result where the total device in the csv file is nine and out of which six updated successfully and on three is failed to update and we can also get the log location for success and failure separately in this location let me open this log and show you the information present in this log we can see that it's stating the same thing like updating group tag for serial number this with the sales for under is marketing and then hr accounting and so on now let's see if the same thing is updated in the intune portal or not so to do this i'm again going to the intune portal and i'm going to refresh the screen and now we can see that the group tag is updated successfully using the powershell in bulk so that's all i want to show you in this video how we can update the group tag in bulk using powershell so that's all for this video and i will see you soon in another automation video i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video